So here we comfortably ensconced at Ongava Lodge, the original, the mothership perhaps, of the four properties here at Ongava. And we talking about art, wildlife art. We're very proud of our collection of art and the decor and the beautiful pieces that we've assembled over the years. Each lodge having its own unique character um, drawn from its terrain. And certainly a big feature of Ongava is the Dolomite stone and the red stone of Ongava Lodge and Little Ongava is distinctive here, as opposed to perhaps the gray um, dolomite that we see in the valley where Ongava Tented Camp is located. And then there's Andersons, which has the white culcrete, so typical of the Itasha pans. So we've built on the environment and bought it indoors by matching it with certain fabrics. Perhaps most dynamically is on display at Little Ongava where the deep purple of nature, which is the drawn from the color of the ripe Terminalia pleuronoides, which is the purple pod Terminalia, common bush in this environment. We've taken that color indoors and used it to manifest itself in the specific pieces that explode with color. Quite unusual. We love it, beautiful effect. And to round off perhaps is the pieces of art to complement and to invoke the safari spirit. Being deeply aware of the visceral emotions that a wildlife safari provokes in people and the connections to nature. These emotions are matched in the best, most professionally construed art and wildlife art in, in particular has the ability to draw and tap into this nostalgia. Here at Anderson Zadongava, we have an amazing selection of African art pieces, amongst which you can see these beautiful beaded masks made by the Senefu tribe from the Ivory Coast. Among the artwork collection here at Anderson Zadongava are these wonderful pieces from the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria. They are actually beaded crowns and they form part of the king's regalia and are worn at all important occasions. Quite recently, we've been in contact with our good friends at the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation and they continue the extraordinary work that uh, David Shepherd, the most arguably one of the most accomplished wildlife artists of the 19th and 20th century um, and he has raised and his family have raised over 10 million pounds for in protection of endangered species across Africa and Asia and we are incredibly privileged to be entering a partnership with the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation to communicate and to reach out to, to both each other's database and our guests and past guests to boost our messaging, to boost the support of endangered species, both here at Ongava, across Namibia and worldwide. One of the most rewarding parts of my job is creating experiences for guests that turn into memories. These are memories that they can share with their loved ones and remember for the rest of their lives. So whether that be a surprise sundowner set up for an engagement or a lunch for a 50th anniversary or even planning a wedding for a guest. One of my most memorable experiences was a sundowner set up we'd done for an engagement. So the gentleman had asked us to surprise him with a sundowner in the bush. He had actually tried to propose three times before to his girlfriend, all around the world, various destinations, and each time something had gone wrong. So what we did is we found a beautiful clearing at sunset. We set up um, some candles and some fairy lights in a tree, and we had some champagne waiting for them. And then when they pulled up with the, with the guide, they were the only guests on the car. They got off, and the lady saw this, and obviously she was surprised and then they got engaged. We even managed to capture the whole moment on form for them. So that was very special for me and even celebrating with them afterwards was fantastic. So being a part of that is one of the things that makes my job very rewarding. I've got the beautiful waterhole right behind me. As you can see, I call it our own very own uh, live television. So you can literally expect anything and everything to come through from your rhinos, to your lions, to your elephants, to your general games, which is the zebras, your black-faced impalas, your red-hearted bears, just to name a few. Um, we're right here, sitting at our most beautiful pool. We've got our favorite um, elephants that also do come through, that really, really, literally, really love drinking from, from the pool instead of the water hole. So that also gives you a very, very beautiful 
moment to capture all the true Namibian uh, wildlife experiences. Um, throughout our camp, um, all the pathways are covered with red sand. So, I mean, you can just imagine, imagine what happens through the night once you wake up to come through to the main area to have breakfast. You get to see all kinds of different animal footprints. So that just tells you, you're in the midst of nature, far away, that becomes your everyday home, away from home, yes. My name is Adriano. I'm working for Ongaba almost 27 years. And uh, I started working on Gava as a barman and a waiter in Ongava Main Lodge. We play to get this what happened now to past, and we need the other tourists to come back to Ongava Game Reserve. And we try to give him service as we do 27 years ago, and uh, we try to give the best. And, uh, our government also tried to, tried to get the tourists because Namibian government, we, our, most our economy for Namibia is for the tourists. We don't have much coming in here it's, uh, except the tourists. Uh, if you're talking about uh, Namibia, we got uh, more than how many tourists coming in a year. And like now, everybody in Namibia, special Namibia, I'm not talking for other country, I'm talking about Namibia. We close finger, especially Europe, American, Australian, to be back as normal, and Africa continent too. Then everybody can travel again, and we start going like was. <laughs> <laughs>